Hello everybody and welcome back to Letton Farm. So today what I'm going to be doing is harvesting the field behind the Young's Farm, which is at the end of this road, if you haven't seen any of my vlogs before. And you go straight over past the tractor which has been on its side and you'll find our field behind the yard over there. It is a bit unfortunate actually because it was yesterday when Mr Young flipped his John Deere and I still don't know how he is, it seems that he is still in hospital. I've not heard anything, although I'm not really expecting to hear too much as we're not really related it's just he's a neighbor anyway um yes as you can see the tractor is warming up here i've got a load of wood in the trailer which is not really a big problem but it is slightly annoying because i do need to take the trailer over to the field and i've got a few uses for this wood well, i've got a couple of uses actually one use is firewood the other use is uh, to use them as gate posts over there it saves having to buy any posts because they're really good they're very straight so I can just trim them a bit and stick them in the ground, hang a gate on it, and it should be a nice, cheap gate post. <laughs> that's what they are. And yeah, um, the rest of it can just be used as firewood to heat the house, so that's all going to be a nice uh, money saver. Right, so yeah, as I've already explained, we're going to be going over to the farm, over to the field to do uh, my wheat harvest. I think it's wheat. Um, and then, yeah, the field is just going to be left. I'm not going to replant it because it is for sale. And I'm actually surprised how long it's taken so far to not sell. I thought it would have sold by now. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep it on the market. £20,000 is what it's on for. Open to offers. And if it means uh, allowing Dennis to buy it, then, well, I'll have to just uh, give him a high price, I suppose. £20,000, that'll do, the guy price. Okay, so, yeah, off we go. Let's go and uh, get this food harvested. The combine is already full. I think the John Deere is still parked up just there, yep. And the trailer, yeah, the muck spreader, is just there. So nothing has really changed in well, overnight. I'm assuming that he is still in hospital. Yep, still for sale. So actually, I'm going to enter the field over here. There might be a log which is in the way, but I can just trim it and then obviously throw it out of the way. And in fact, take it back to the yard later. Yeah, there it is, a piece of tree. It's part of the Christmas tree. Yeah, it's a good access. Very good access to the field. So, yeah, let's just go and unload it for the first time. Just here. As usual, it is just not a big enough combine harvester for the header, which is really strange, because it is actually a header for it. It's just the tank fills up in a matter of seconds. Right, let's get this thing going. Get the auger out. There we go in my freshly painted trailer although I'm a bit too far away again it's an issue with having a header which is too large you can't really get too close you have to reverse around the corner which is very frustrating so as soon as this farm does become successful or as soon as I sell this field I will be buying a brand new combine if it does sell for £20,000 then that should be enough to buy a good used combine I know that this is a good used combine but it's just a bit too small that's the issue or at least it's not too small, the header is too big and uh, I think I'd prefer to have a smaller header on this size combine but as I'm going to be changing it I'll go for a bigger combine in the first place so anyway yes I've got loads of crop to harvest here and then I do need to make enough money to be able to repay the mortgage which is due today, it's, it's quite tough I need to keep up with it The combine is almost full again and this time I can't unload because the trailer is full as well. So I'm now going to go over to the local grain merchant and we're going to get it sold. And then I can hopefully afford to uh, repay this part of uh, the mortgage. Now I don't know at the moment how much I have to repay, how much is left, but I can take a look in a second. So what I'll do is sell this, then pay my 5000 weekly um, repayment and then it'll be time to uh, see what is remaining. I don't want to be going through their yard. 
I should have taken the approach through the uh, the forest. It was much better. Yeah, kind of messed up here. I could just use it as an excuse to see how he's doing, but I don't think they're in. Pretty sure they're not in. Seems quiet. So, yep, it's just up here. Hopefully the current price is good. I can't afford to wait until the price is good if it isn't. But, um, yeah, in the future, hopefully I will be able to. If I can get some kind of storage facility, I might just get a good shed and then or just dump it on the ground and pick it up later. Dump it in the shed, obviously, not just on the floor. <laughs> not on the, the ground, on the, on the soil. That would be a bit ridiculous. But, uh, yes, in a nice watertight shed. Good storage facility. Okay, so here it is. It's always opposite uh, Dennis's pub. So here goes the first four and a half thousand litres of wheat. Well, that's enough money to be able to repay the mortgage. That's good. And it's going to leave me with £1,051. But there's more to come. I still have £55,000 left to repay. But that is this week's repayment done. Uh, or payment done, I should say. Not repayment. Payment done at uh, £5,000 just disappeared. So I'm back to, well, I'm even lower actually than what I was before. £1,051. But that should soon climb when I sell the rest of the crop, which I'm going to do today. I have to sell it all today. Otherwise, I'm going to really struggle to stay alive. I suppose that's why I call it the survival. Survival vlogs. Uh, old Dagman Twistle Stick. Trying to run a farm, starting with nothing. I should really move that for him, but he might not appreciate it. He might think it's been stolen. Right, so back through the trees, and then obviously back over to the combine to unload it. I think I did estimate it was about two and a half to three combine loads to fill the trailer. It was quite an impressive amount, considering the size of the trailer, but it just goes to show how small this tank is. Well, you can see how small it is. It's, it's absolutely minute. Um, yeah, it's like a, a, a storage box. It is. It's, it's like a large cardboard box size. It's really small. So, let's continue. I'll put the auger in. So this is the end, I don't know if it's all going to fit into the trailer, hopefully it will do, but my plan is to obviously go over to the Grain Merchant again, sell it, and then return to here with the trailer, pick up the log in the, uh, the forest there, and then drive everything out through that way, so that I can, uh, well, make life easier really. I then need to take the trailer to my farm, I can't get close enough. Yeah, the trailer needs to go to the farm. I then need to take the header off the trailer and park the combine up and finally return the header trailer to the dealer. This is close, but not close enough. That's that's good. I think I'm going to struggle to fit it all in. I really do. It would be frustrating if it doesn't all fit, which it doesn't. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I might keep it in the combine for the time being, although, no, I can't really do that. Right, okay, so if I just turn it off there, we'll jump out, jump onto this tractor, and actually, maybe I can go through there. I don't know who owns the field, though. Better not do, because I don't know. I'm assuming it all belongs to the Youngs, but I've never seen it being farmed. And Peter Wood never got me to do anything there. So yeah, let's just go. Let's go through here. Get a bit of money in. Where is the road? There it is. It needs to be made a bit more obvious, I suppose. Could also do with a bit of a gate, but yeah, I don't want to be putting too much money into it. Most of my money needs to go into the, the farm itself. And here we are. So, judging by the previous load, I would say we're going to be making a few thousand 
Uh, it's not going to be making us millions, that's for sure. We might just about get back to £5,000 in the account. We do still have a tiny bit more to sell, but it's really such a, a tiny, it really is a tiny amount. Uh, it's about 200 litres. But yeah, if this can get us to four and a half to five thousand pounds, that would be nice. But yeah, it's not going to. So we'll probably finish off with just short of four thousand pounds in total. So back to the combine. I'll pick up the wood, and well, actually, no, I can't. We'll have to go back again, I suppose. Still for sale. We could actually put this into just like a plastic bin liner. It's such a tiny amount. Uh, I might have to use the combine to actually get close enough. I don't know. Maybe I can try out my skills again of reversing. Oh, yes. So that's short lived. There we go. That's everything. Right, back over to the grain merchant. It was it was almost worth it. Yeah, if we make £100, then I suppose we've done well. we go. £139. Very good. Right, now to get the firewood. As I said, I would like to move that tractor, but I'm worried, because I think he's left the key in it. it. It could just get stolen, I suppose, although it's unlikely. Uh, I'm worried that if I try and start it, it could run away, because the diesel is in places where it shouldn't be, because it's been on its side. And, um, yeah, it could just, you know, run off the oil. Um, I don't know, I could... I either leave it or I try it, basically. I can't go towing it, I don't think, because I could technically damage the transmission by pulling it with the chain. And it's not even mine to be playing with, so... It's just me trying to be kind, you know, by taking it off the roadside, but I don't know. Anyway, yeah, let's get this sorted out first of all, if I can just take these branches off. There isn't much wood here, but actually this could be the better post. Yeah, this could be the fence post. Gate post. They need to be in manageable sizes still though. I need to be able to pick them up. So that's quite a good size just there. And that can do. The middle piece might be too large. But we'll soon find out. That piece there is way too heavy. Yeah, I can't pick it up. That's super heavy. In that case, they're probably not going to be a gatepost, since I'd have to get a tractor here. I suppose the grapple would have been good, but yeah, I've already got some posts, so this can just be wood. That's the first piece, and the second piece, which is very small. Now for the third piece, third and fourth. Still, it's good wood. This should uh, last me a while. There we go, and uh, yeah, I'll do the rest in a minute. And the final piece, there we go, right. So that's actually filled the trailer quite nicely. A surprising amount has come out of it. I'll be coming back for the header trailer and obviously the header. Uh, the combine can stay here for the time being because the important thing is that I get the header trailer returned, otherwise they might be sneaky enough to put the price up even further they already were being quite tight about it, so yeah, I don't want to be incurring any more fees. We're home. Yep, my tractor is still there, the sheep haven't driven off in it, that's a, always a good sign. So yeah, as I haven't really got the time at the moment, I'll just put this into the shed. Just drive it into here, which one should I put it into? To there. Oh yeah, and by the way, uh, last night when I came back to the farm, after the rain, and it rains again in the night. Uh, it turns out that uh, the water has actually filled up quite nicely in the bunker. Because now the plank has been removed from the top, it's allowing water to actually go into there and fill up. And it's clay soil, so it is actually holding the water very well. There you go. There's definitely, it's, I'd say it's at least half a metre deeper. It's quite a bit. So here, there you go. Lovely. Oh, right, after a long run back, here we are, ready to take the header off. And then, yeah, I need to, of course, drive the combine back here to take the header off again. Very annoying. 
But this is the final time the combine will be coming to this field. And in fact, if I change the combine for another combine which does have its own trailer, and I still own the field, then I could redrill it. But I really don't want to. I want to sell it. So, yeah, the £20,000 would be very helpful. And besides, I can't buy the combine without the £20,000 unless I make some money somewhere else. Uh, right. That should do. Make sure it's aligned. Good. Right. Back over to the farm. Hopefully I can get through the trees. I just need to put it somewhere where there's plenty of space to be able to take it off with the combine. So I suppose just there. It should do nicely. And now time to run back over to the combine. Whew. Keeping me fit, that's for sure. Yeah, I, I really do need to make sure the header trailer goes back fast. Otherwise they might be inclined to... Uh, well, rip me off essentially, because I've already paid a fortune for it. cruising into the yard. It really does cruise this combine. It's does, it doesn't really drive. It's like a boat. Or a ship. Yeah, more like a ship. A cruise ship. Right, here we go. Let's get that thing off there. And it is now time to very quickly drive to the dealer. And then I think that is pretty much everything for today. I'm not, not too sure. I don't think I've got anything else to do. Ah, oh, great. I've got nowhere to turn around. I suppose I could drive forwards, but I could always just reverse to the end of the road. You know, I'm quite skilled. I'm quite good at reversing these trailers <laughs> as I hit the chain. Um, oh, no. Is there nowhere to reverse? To turn into? Could have turned into there, possibly. Right, okay. So I'm going to reverse all the way to the end of the road. That was a big mistake. Well, I've made it. Of course, it's a completely blind pullout. I'm never doing that again. That was foolish. And here we are. So I'll just put it here and let them know that it has been returned. Good. Yep, they said they would come and uh, fetch it in a minute or two. So I'm going to go back to the farm. Yeah, I've decided that I think it is a good idea to uh, attempt to start the tractor and just put it into the yard for him. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll just pull over here. Just hope it works alright. So I can go there. I'll put the tractor probably in that yard over there with the muck spreader. So here we go. Let's get it going. Mm. Okay, that, that doesn't seem to be working. Try again. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. It's running away. This is exactly what I was concerned about. Um, you've got to put a load of rags over the air intake. Right, okay. Um, right, we've got a load of rags. Stick them over the air intake. There goes my coat. That's how you quickly kill a diesel engine. <laughs> Completely block the air intake. I was worried it was going to do that. Right, okay. Um, I'm going to have to leave it there. That that was lucky that I could stop it that quickly. On second thoughts, I'm going to just go back over to the farm and pretend that never happened. If you leave that going, it would literally blow the engine up. And I would not want to do that to my neighbour's tractor scary moments. But now I've used my coat to jam that and yeah, that is, it's now very dirty. Great. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.